from my gradient stroke along a path, it's just a click away to fake the Ouroboros plugin. I wish After Effects had a real true gradient stroke, a gradient stroke that automatically aligns with a the path. There is already an operator called gradient stroke, but actually it's a linear gradient ramp that doesn't follow the path at all. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you my little hack to create your own true gradient stroke with your own designed color gradient that truly aligns with the path. And with my simple technique, you can do even more crazy stuff. tried many techniques like using force motion blur, echo, particle world, but they never came close to the even color gradient of my technique. I tried a really cool plugin called Thick Stroke that gave me the gradient stroke I wanted, but I just could apply it to mask shapes and that meant that I didn't have the benefits of a shape layer. Oh, by the way, <laughs> this is my cat and uh, does the tail have a gradient stroke as well? I almost gave up and I thought a real gradient stroke can be just accomplished in a 3D program until I had an idea. This is my finished setup. You can trim the path and determine the gradient colors with a colorama effect. And every time you adjust the path, the colors align to it, even with the colors blended. And it's not laggy to edit. The reason is that it consists of just one single shape path. Okay, let's start all over again with a new project. Create a composition, in my case 1920 by 1080 pixels. Then grab the pen tool, check Rotobizier if you want and draw a spline in the compositions window. Open up the shape layer and delete the fill. When you open up stroke 1, you can also change line cap to round cap and line join to round join. Then press Shift D to duplicate the stroke. And with stroke 1 still open, change the color to white. Open up taper and increase end length to 100%. We now have two different looking strokes on top of each other. With a stroke width parameter in the toolbar, we can adjust the width of both strokes. In this case 100 pixels. And we just need a single path to modify the shapes of the strokes. Apply a fast box blur effect to the shape layer and increase the blur radius to like 50. Then apply a set matte effect to bound the blur to the original shape. Sorry guys, I'm here with new knowledge in the meantime. Please don't use the set matte effect. Apply a CC composite effect with composite original set to stencil alpha instead. If we apply the set matte effect, duplicate the shape layer and modify the path, we wouldn't see any effect. The reason is that the take matte from layer is still set to the original shape. To fix this, we always have to set it to the new layer the set matte effect is applied to. So better use the CC composite effect, it'll save you tons of work. When we toggle on the transparency grid, we can see that the stroke is a bit transparent. To get rid of it, apply a levels effect, set channel to alpha and drag the right handle into the empty space before the histogram graph. This should eliminate the transparency in the stroke. Let me explain my technique. The thinner the white stroke gets, the more the mix ratio between black and white gradually shifts towards black. And when you blend them with a fast box blur effect, you get the according shades of grey. Now we have a true gradient stroke that correctly follows the path. To make it more obvious, apply a colorama effect to it. Again, the colors follow the path. In the output cycle, you can also change the proportions of the colors, define your own colors or just take one of the presets in the preset palette. Another thing that I forgot to mention, if you uncheck modify alpha in the colorama effect, you will improve anti-aliasing. Uh, sorry for the interruption guys, uh, that was definitely the last one. Now let's create some fun things. For example, you can add a trim paths operator and animate the start and end attributes. Let's see what it looks like with interpolate palette unchecked. Wow, reminds a bit of the great Ouroboros plugin. Check interpolate palette again, maybe choose another preset, add a wiggle paths operator before the trim paths operator and set size to 100, 
detail to 5, points to smooth and wiggles per second to 1. That looks funny. You can experiment with different blur values, with a dashed stroke or by using the wave parameters to get interesting results. Every hack comes with some downsides. You can get interesting color blends when the path self-intersects or when the pathway is too tight. However, it's not a real gradient stroke anymore. This is where the thick stroke plugin is much better. But there are some workarounds. For example, you can divide the path into multiple sections. By doing this, you can for example recreate the Apple event animation. I know this can be very fiddly with complex shapes, that's why you should avoid intersections and keep the path simple. But as long as After Effects doesn't have such an option, I think that this hack is the most handy one compared to other techniques without a plugin. I hope my tutorial was helpful for you, I'm really curious what you're gonna create with my method, so send me a link to your work if you want. Would be nice if you refer to my video and subscribe to my channel for more hacks and cheats and after effects. See you next time.